Progression on me, progression on three. Welcome to the Tulsa Progression Podcast. Here, we love to talk, teach, and learn local music. Remember to give your opinion because here, your opinion matters. Now, introducing your host, the creative, King Spencer. Thank you for that amazing intro, gorgeous. Um, Welcome to the Toast Progression Podcast, man. All right, let's get it. We on the fourth topic, man. So this is the last thing that I wanted to chop it up with you guys about today. Um, And that's just ways you can get exposure as a local artist. So if you're from Tulsa or around Tulsa, say, for instance, OKC, Lawton, um, you know, anywhere remotely close to Tulsa, and you're just wanting to get involved or get exposure, get your name out, get recognized, um, there are a bunch of ways to do that. So I'm going to share with you guys a few different ways that are mostly inexpensive, if free. Um, And if not free, it may cost a few dollars. But, I mean, if you got subscriptions, Netflix, Hulu, you know what I'm saying? I just realized that I had, like, a subscription for everything. So, I mean, I canceled them. But I realized I had a subscription for, like, everything, yo. And that's, like, 50 bucks, 100 bucks a month. You know what I'm saying? So... Without getting too deep into that, if you're anything like me and you're, like, paying for a bunch of subscriptions, you can, like, transfer that subscription over and, like, fund your exposure career with some of these things that I'm talking about. So the first thing that I want to expose you guys to is the Soul Body Ciphers. All right, so Soul Body Ciphers actually takes place downtown. The location um, is has been at the Clean Hands uh, Studios. Um, I'm not sure if it'll be moving or anything, but basically what Soul Body Cyphers is, it's like it's like just a place where artists can come and, you know, just create art. And okay, so let me just paint out what it what a day at at one of the ciphers looks like. So let me just paint what a day at the Soul Body Cyphers looks like. So you show up and the DJ is playing some music. Shout out to Big City. Um, there, there's actually a couple DJs there, but the DJs are playing music. You walk in, you just chilling out, you vibing. You might go get a drink. You might eat some food while you waiting for the MCs to all get ready. All right, boom, it's game time. So here it is. I don't know, 7:30, and like we create a big circle. There's a big circle, and you got the host in the middle. Shout out to uh, Sobody Meta. He's usually the host. He introduces the MC, and then they'll tell the DJ to play a certain instrumental. They'll play that instrumental, and then boom, you just start rapping. Now, this instrumental could be an industry instrumental. It could be an instrumental to one of your songs. It don't. You could like just rock out a cappella. Basically, the point of it is to just you know just just to just put on a show. And the dope thing that makes this a valuable asset to all artists is that you get to perform in front of a crowd. That's one plus. And secondly, you get to, um, it's recorded. So it goes on the internet after recording. So that's the dope thing about it. So um, I advise that if you guys are interested in that, you reach out to Soul Body Met on Instagram, S O U L B O D Y. M E T A, Soul Body Meta. Reach out to him, hit him up, see how you can get involved. The next cipher is May 14th. I'm pretty sure they got some open spots. If your artist is interested in performing and just letting the world know who you are and just get hip to what you have to offer, that's how you get involved with that. Um, the another way that you can get involved in getting your music heard and you know just more exposure is Hello, the King Spencer YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? I have a YouTube channel with over 26,000 subscribers, made by Tulsa, made for Tulsa. It only costs 20 bucks to get an upload. You hit me up or you reach out to my manager slash girlfriend slash a whole bunch of stuff. Tiffany Dawn, Tiffany X Dawn on Instagram. And just let them let her know that hey, I got a video. I'm trying to get it uploaded. I got the 20 bucks. 
what do I got to do? Reach out to us. We'll get you taken care of. You know what I'm saying? That's the number one way to get um, exposed to a lot of – that's not the number one way, but that is definitely a, a great way to get exposed to a lot of artists, um, a, a lot of ears in Tulsa, Oklahoma, through the YouTube channel that was made by Oklahoma. Um, another way to get um, – your music exposed um, and just, you know, like more, you know, just get more ears and eyes on your content is through Indie Pop Media. Indie Pop Media is like the shade room of Tulsa, Oklahoma for artists. I don't know if they would approve of me comparing them to shade room. So I want to note that I don't mean that in a bad way. I look at shade room as a, as a, a media platform that exposes everything going on in hip hop. So I look at Indie Pot as a media platform that exposes everything that's going on in Tulsa hip hop and really Oklahoma hip hop. So that's the sense that I mean that comparison, no disrespect, no shade. Um, I feel like that's a, a great place to go if you want people to know about your new projects, your new whatever, anything you got going on that's Tulsa or Oklahoma based, Indie pop media is a great, a great platform to promote that through. And I'm not sure of what the cost, if any cost, but I would definitely reach out to them at Indie Pop Media on Instagram. Check the podcast notes or the description, depending on what you're watching this on, for uh, more details on everything that I'm listing. And that'd be a great place to find out. And the last place, it's really a couple more, but it's one of them that I'm not so sure about. So tune back in next episode or for in the notes, and I might have some extra details about it. But the last thing that I wanted to speak on was the Garden Studios Tulsa. Now, I run into that content a lot just watching stories or scrolling down my timeline on Instagram, and they produce some really dope content. It reminds me of the No Plugins interviews to at the extent that it's like a set place. You know what I'm saying? It's just a, it's just one camera. Mm, well, it might be more than one camera, but it's just like you show up to this spot. And have y'all ever seen um, uh, off the porch, off the porch uh, interviews? It's that same type of energy, but it's just uh, with music. Instead of it being an interview, it's a performance. So I'll reach out to Garden Studios Tulsa, G-A-R-D-E-N, Garden Studios Tulsa, and I would just say, hey, I'm interested, and I want to know how I can get involved. I would, I would hit them up expecting to pay something until they tell you otherwise. Like, I would never suggest hitting somebody up expecting it to be free. Like, come on, let's be real. Like, we taking time out of people's day to create something for ourselves. So... Y'all will reach out to Garden Studios Tulsa and see what they charge or if they're interested in what you have to offer because I personally think they got a dope platform and they make some really dope content. Um, so, yeah, real quick, the, the ways that I think that you can find more exposure or just get your content seen or heard is through Soul Body Ciphers, my YouTube channel, Indie Pop Media, and Garden Studios Tulsa. Reach out and get on all of those, if not one of them. That's the wrap up. Welcome and goodbye from the Tulsa Progression Podcast. It's been great sitting here talking to you guys. I can't wait to the next episode. Make sure y'all follow me everywhere and be looking out for the next topics because I will be reaching out, trying to get some opinions from you guys that we can listen to and we can discuss right here on the podcast next time. But this is the introduction episode. You guys have been great. I love the town. I love Tulsa. Everything I do is from, for, and because of Tulsa. And, man, you know what I'm saying? I got that Tulsa progression on. Make sure y'all look at the bio on how y'all can get this merch. I'm about to go ahead and check out. Progression on me, progression on three. We out, man.